welcome to episode number 16 of my podcast. I'm Emma and this is where I like to chat all about my knitting and crocheting. I feel a little bit giddy today. I'm filming a little bit later than normal. It's 11 o'clock now. I normally film as soon as I get back from the school run but I've been to the hairdressers this morning. I've not had my hair done clearly. I just went to um, quite a posh hairdressers in town and I had a consultation and I'm all booked in for next Thursday and I've paid a £30 deposit but I'm not entirely sure what I'm having done and I'm not entirely sure how much it's going to cost me but <laughs> it all just happened in a bit of a blur to be honest. One minute I was sitting in the chair talking the next minute I was stood at the counter being booked in so watch this space. I think, I think I'm getting it cut to a, a blunt bob sort of just off my shoulders and I'm getting some um, balayage. I think that's how you say it. So it will all be good fun. Not entirely sure what colour. I think blonde. I don't know. <laughs> I rang my mum. I rang my mum at um, while I was stood at the bus stop waiting for the bus to go to come to take me home and she said, Oh, what are you getting done then? How much will it cost? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but I've paid thirty pound. If you have to ask how much something costs, it's probably too expensive for you, isn't it? So it will all be good fun. So next time you see me, I might look completely different. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well and that you've had a lovely week. I've got some new subscribers since my last episode, which is lovely. Thank you very much for subscribing. And thank you very much to all of my other subscribers who've always watched and always comment. I always really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Always makes me laugh because whenever I put a podcast up and I, I, I put about it on Instagram, I always get some messages or comments from people thanking me for taking the time to film and things and... I always think that that's the wrong way around. I should be thanking you for watching. So, thank you. Anyway, it's only been a week, but I'm filming again because my last episode, it was just too long. It was far too long. It was nearly an hour and it's not just, it's not just the filming. It's the editing and then the uploading and, and all that, all that jazz. So, I'm going to try and keep it to half an hour, around about, around about half an hour this week and we'll see how we go. I've had, I've had a nice week, it's been a little bit stressing. Um, we went in town on Saturday, as I said, I was going to go with Sophie and Diana, had lunch with Sophie, which was really nice. Hardly ever get to do things with Sophie, just me and her. We went shopping afterwards, a little bit of tension because she wanted me to buy her some pink hair dye and I said no. Um, but apart from that, it was all good. But yeah, it's been a little bit stressy. I'll try and keep the story short because it's nothing to do with knitting or anything. But basically, um, our gas and energy supplier, Eon, tried to charge us for an entire year of electricity that we'd already paid for from October 2021 to the end of September last year that they billed us for it again. I just look, I happened to check my account. The last time I checked it, we was in credit and suddenly they were saying that um, we were nearly 600 pound in debit with them, but there were no statements or anything. And I had to go through all this rigmarole of trying to get hold of someone to send me a statement and tell me what the charge was for. And then once I got the statement, I had to then get back in touch with them and try and get all this sorted out and, you know, find all past statements and meter readings and make sure that we had paid it. And anyway, we had, and they've taken it off the account now, but yeah, it was a little bit stressy because you worry about things like that, don't you? You know, if you think you owe people money and I thought, well, are they gonna cancel it off the account or are they gonna be a bit funny about it? But. Yeah, so that was on the Saturday and we didn't get it sorted until the Tuesday night and a little, little, bit, little bit worrying, but it's all sorted now. So I wanted to mention it because if you do get a bill or something from your energy supplier, you know, don't just assume that it is correct. Make sure, make sure you check it because there will have been some people, won't they? Especially elderly people, especially like I think both of my nanas probably, they'd have received a bill like that. 
they'd have just paid it straight away. You know, they'd have panicking and and just paid it without question. So, but yeah, I do apologise because obviously nothing to do with knitting. I'll just have a little sip of coffee. I've not had a coffee this morning. Maybe why I'm a bit giddy. I have got, I've got finished objects to show you this week. And let's see if you can guess what it is. I have finally finished my tinsel socks. I don't know if they're showing on the film or not, on the camera or not. After I'd filmed last week, I just kind of I had a I had a talking to myself. I just thought, come on and just, just get them done because they they've been taking forever. And I do apologise because I have worn these. I wore them on Saturday actually. So after I'd filmed on Thursday, I picked them back up. Because I have a bit of a longer day on a Thursday. On a Thursday afternoon after school, both my girls do um they do a club. Sophie does samba club. She plays the steel drums and Isla does art club. So I don't have to pick them up until four o'clock. So I had a bit of spare time and I was going to work on something else. And then I thought, you know what? Just, just get those socks done. If you get the heel done while it's daylight and you can see what you're doing, then it's just a case of, of plain knitting because it's just self-striping yarn. And I did the heel wrong again. You won't believe what I did. I attached the yarn and did a couple of rows. I've done a shadow wrap heel on these. And I started knitting, not with the end of yarn that was attached to the actual ball. I started knitting with the tail end, you know, the bit that I'd attached the wool with. So I got nearly to the end of the row and then I realised because I just, the yarn just disappeared. So I had to, had to take it all back. And if I hadn't have already knitted the first sock and finished it, I think I would have given up at this point, but I didn't, and they're done, and the yarn, oh my goodness, I told you, I need to calm myself down, and the yarn is um, it's gone, I went to see my auntie yesterday and I, I took the yarn for her, they are lovely, I have been a little bit negative about them, haven't they, do you know what I think it is, I think it's because it's, it's quite dark yarn, and I've been knitting on them throughout winter when it's been quite dull and there's not been a great deal of light, especially in the evenings, and it's made it more difficult for me. So this is West Yorkshire Spinners Vintage Tinsel, and I've used West Yorkshire Spinners Amethyst on the heel and the toe. These are pretty big compared to how I normally make socks. They're pretty, pretty long, but I weighed the yarn and I've got nearly exactly um, nearly exactly 50 grams left. So I haven't used more than I normally would. So there's still enough to make another full pair of socks. They did feel a little bit knit to rough with. A little bit rough to knit with. Not rough to knit with. No, not. Oh my God. Just breathe. I'm just looking at this like this is something else I've got to talk about. Can you see it? That's what I need to do. I need to breathe and calm myself down. It did feel a little bit rough to knit with because of the sparkly bits in the yarn. And someone did mention to me actually and said, I hope it doesn't feel rough on your feet when you wear it. And I hadn't even thought about that. So as soon as I'd finished them, I did I did wear them for the, a full day the next day. I wore them all day Saturday and they were fine. They don't feel rough at all. And I mean, I've not washed them or anything yet either. So once they've been washed, they'll soften as well. So yeah, they're absolutely fine. Very glad they're done. That brings my total number of works in progress down from eight to seven now. And I haven't finished anything else. I just wanted to get something something ticked off the list really tempted to cast on another pair of socks but i'm being good i need to get through some other projects first and get those finished before i cast on anything new i think okay what else have i got to talk to you about shall i 
show you my new yarn. Let me show you my new yarn. Because I've just shown you the postcard for it. This is the Beehive Yarns Simple Pleasures Yarn Club. And I don't know if everybody will have received this yet. So if you've ordered this and you're waiting for it, I'll, I'll tell you before I show you it on the screen. So this is the colours. I've just shown you this, I'll show you it again. Okay, so if you're still waiting on your yarn club, then look away now. This is the yarn. Came on Monday and I couldn't enjoy it because I was waiting on an email from Eon about this charge on my account, so I couldn't appreciate it. But it is lovely. Let me hold it up next to the card. Hopefully that's all in focus so you can see it. Isn't it clever? It's really clever. It, I think that is such a good match for this postcard. It looks it looks pretty much exactly the same, doesn't it? I have seen somebody else's and I have to say, I think I've got lucky and I think mine is a bit prettier than theirs because obviously it's all it's all dyed in a big pan, isn't it? And then all the skeins are in and are in together. And I think I've been lucky and I've just got a skein that is is pretty because I have to say my friends didn't look didn't look quite as nice. Okay, right, I've put it down now. So if you've if you've not not um not got your club yet. You're safe to look. Okay, so I really like it. I think it's beautiful. It is is almost like a work of art. I'm absolutely dying to wind it up, to cake it, so that I can see what it's going to look like. Um, because I am a little bit worried about how it's going to knit up. Because in my experience, that type of yarn doesn't always translate well once it's once it's been knitted up. In my opinion, some yarn looks better in the skein than it does than when it's been knitted. But saying that, I have still kept my subscription, so I will be getting another um, another mystery another mystery yarn at the end of at the end of this month. And I'll, I'll pop in a picture of the image for February's, for February's club. It looks beautiful. I mean, that's beautiful, but I, I am going to knit that up sooner rather than later because if, if I don't like how it knits up and if I get the February club and that's similar, then I might not keep up with the full, the full year's worth of yarn because I don't want to end up with... I don't want to end up with lots of yarn, beautiful though they are, that I'm not going to be able to use. It's going to be a case, I think, of definitely choosing the right sock pattern. I think I need a pattern that's got just a really nice, simple bit of texture. Maybe something like the bonfire socks that I've made before, or um, there's another pattern. I've not made it, I started it and then didn't carry on with it for some reason, but that was the, um, I think they're called the Everyday Socks by Summer Lee Knits. That's, that'd be quite nice, maybe. I might even, I might even knit a swatch. No, no I won't. <laughs> no, I won't knit a swatch. Oh. So that's my yarn club. I do have some other yarn to show you as well. What was it? Oh, where is it? It's here, it's hiding. So lots of you said you would like a tutorial. So I'm gonna start filming tutorials or a tutorial for one of my blankets. Um, might start tomorrow, probably next week, and I will try and get that on YouTube at some point this month. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. I think it will take a lot longer to film that than it will to film a podcast or something. And I've got some yarn for that tutorial. It feels really soft. And I've just gone with Stylecraft. I've just got white for the main colour. And I wanted something a little bit different. So I've got this shade. And this is called Spearmint. And I think this is 
a new, a fairly new shade. It's new to me. And I'm going to use the white as the main colour and then I'm going to do all the stripes in this. I thought um, I was going to use pink, but I always do pink and it's nice to use a different, nice to use a variety, isn't it, of colours and things. And also with both of those being quite light, I thought they'd be good for the tutorial because they'll show the stitches really well. It'll be easy to see what I'm doing. And I've got enough to make a full blanket. So for the tutorial, I'm just going to knit quite a small swatch so I can show how to do the full pattern and then how to do the border all the way around it. But after I've done that, I do want to make a full size blanket as well so that I can take some good pictures of it for Instagram. I've still been working on my knitted blanket. I've not got it down here with me actually, but um, it has grown. I think I'm about a third of the way through now. So that's, that's progressing well as well. My ripple blanket, I haven't done a great deal on, I have to say, since the last time I spoke to you. Um, it, is, it is massive. It's huge. Um, I think I've got about 15 stripes left to do, so I am trying to crack on with that. I would like to get that done. When I ordered this yarn, I have to say, I was tempted to order another yarn pack. I quite like the idea of making another blanket. I like the, uh, my favourite ones are the Fireside Blanket by Attic24. And then the Yuletide blanket as well, I quite like. And I thought I could get that yarn pack and start it now and aim to have it done for Christmas time and just have it as a really long term project. But yeah, then I talked to myself out of it and I need to get some things finished, I think, don't you, before I start any, any other big blankets like that. Tip that off, tip that off. I wanted to update you on my no frills sweater because the last time I showed you this, I couldn't really show you it properly because it was all scrunched up. Um, I had it on too small a cable. I hadn't put it on the longer one at that point. And um, I've been working on that quite a lot. And it is on the bigger cable now because I've separated for the sleeves. I wasn't sure about this one last time, was I, because of the colours, but it has definitely grown on me. And it feels, honestly, I wish you could feel how soft it is. It feels amazing. Okay, let's try and hold it. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear my needles clacking. But here it is. The colour has... It's definitely growing on me. Now that it's bigger, I do really like it. But can you see, I don't know if you can see the drape on it and how soft it is. It just feels amazing. It feels really nice. I definitely would use this yarn combination again. I'm already thinking of making another one of these in a different colour. Let me show you the increases. I've just, just finished all of the increases. There we go. Can you see those? It's such a simple pattern. I hope the colour suits me. What do you think? Hmm. I'm not sure. But yeah, I really like it. Now basically all I've got to do is do a load of straight knitting um, until it reaches until it reaches the right length and then I think, I think I'm not, not sure if you do decreases or whether you just go straight into the ribbing actually but yeah I'm really enjoying that I'm making that as a bit of a knit along with my friend Catherine and I'm a little bit ahead which if you've ever done a knit along with me will come as no surprise because I, I do get a little bit um, a little bit competitive I don't do it on purpose I can't help it I just get quite into it like it's a competition and it's not but <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm quite ahead of Catherine so I'm, I'm paying some attention to some different projects now and giving her a chance to catch up I suppose 
I've also been working on my Stockholm sweater. So I was complaining about how much um, ribbing I had to do. I've got to do four inches, but I did work on it quite a lot yesterday. I've brought it here to show you so that you can see how much I've done. Can you see? I think, I think I'm about halfway through. I don't have a tape. Well, I'll tell you what I do have. I have got, I've got a ruler in my planner. Let me see how long it is. Oh, I just don't have inches on it. It only has centimetres. How many centimetres is there in an inch? Is it two and a half? So I've done one inch, two inches. Hmm. I've done about um, two and a bit inches. So I'm over halfway through, so that's good. It is taking a long time, but I think as long as I keep chugging on with it, it is quite, it looks quite big. Let me hold it up. It looks quite big, but the fit on it is, is strange because the... I'm sorry if you can hear those. The sleeves... On the pictures, when you look at the sleeves, they sort of go down like this, and then the sleeves starts here, so that will be on my shoulders. So it looks big, but I think it will be okay once I add the sleeves on. Mm, hopefully. You know, I was thinking as well... This colour would make a lovely no frills sweater, wouldn't it? If I could get some of the um of the what what is it that I'm using? Drops flora. So for my Stockholm sweater, I'm using Drops Kid Silk. It's two strands of that held double. For my no frills, I'm using one strand of Drops Kid Silk and one strand of Drops Flora, and the Drops Flora is lovely. It's my first time that I've used it, and I will definitely be using it again. It feels amazing. I hope it washes well. I'm wearing my wool and honey today, and I have to say, I don't know if you can see or if it's hidden, but it is getting really quite tatty. Can you see all the bubbles on it? I really need to get one of those things, you know, those jumper shader things, but, I do, um, I would quite like to make another wool and honey because I really like it. This and my Felix are probably my, my most worn knits. I absolutely love them. Do you know when you have those items of clothing where you feel good when you wear them? Like you not only like them, but you feel confident in things. Like that's how I feel about my wool and honey. And I used Cascade fingering to make this and I'm not sure... I mean, is it normal for it to pill like this or is it because of the yarn? I might make it again and try a different yarn. And then the other thing I might do is make the um, make the sleeves a bit longer as well, possibly, and have full length sleeves. Hmm. But that is all I've got to update you with. So it is mega short this week, so I am a bit sorry about that. Obviously, I'm at the hairdressers next week, aren't I? So... I won't film next week. I will try and make a start on that tutorial. I've decided that I'm not going to put a paid for um, written version up. I'm just going to do the YouTube tutorial and I might even just put really basic written instructions up for free somewhere. We'll see. But yeah, lots of people said they'd be willing to pay for it, but I'm not I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop it on as a, as a tutorial on YouTube. So I'll make a start on that. What else have I got? Have I got, have I got on? Have a look. What other projects have I got? I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? Oh, my litmus cowl. I'd forgotten about that. I don't know whether I'm going to finish that. I think... I think I'm just going to stop showing you any projects that I start with those mini skeins because they're all just doomed. I'll probably never end up using them up. I'll just pass them all on to charity. Or <laughs> Every time I start something with them, I never, I never end up carrying on with it. I'm not going to buy any mini skeins ever again. I am 
I am thinking actually of starting another northeasterly blanket, but holding everything double so that it's a bit thicker and a bit quicker to knit. So we'll see. Yeah, so technically I suppose I've only got six projects. And I should finish the litmus cowl really, shouldn't I? It's literally just been sitting there, not touched for forever, but I suppose Sophie would quite like it. So I hope you're all doing okay and thank you ever so much for watching. Um, I'll be back soon with a tutorial and back in a couple of weeks with another podcast. So thank you for watching. Have a lovely week and take care. Bye.